This video shows how to perform a panel co-integration test on eViews as well as interpret the results. Co-integration test, as you know, is performed on variables which, in a unit root test, were determined to be integrated of the same order, specifically the first order or I1. And upon the conclusion of this test, if the I1 variables are found to be co-integrated in that they have a long-run relationship, then we can proceed and run the panel vector error correction model so as to examine both the short run and long run dynamics of the co-integrated series. If on the other hand they are found not to be co-integrated and that they do not have a long run relationship then um, we really cannot estimate a long run model. In such a case we can estimate a panel VAR in order to examine their short run dynamics. And so to deal with this, we're going to use this panel data set of 13 countries, each with 20 years of annual data, featuring these variables. But two I'm going to use in this analysis are tourism receipts and market capitalization, which is the market value of equity. So let's go on ahead to eViews and hook it all up. And here we have them, all right, the panel of 13 countries with data from 2009 to 2019, yielding a total of 143 observations couple of approaches, two approaches actually. The basic approach is for us to go to quick and then go to uh, group statistics and then go to Joe Hansen co-integration test and then you type in the variables that you want to deal with and then you click OK and then you make your choices here and then you click OK to get your results. All right. However, in my opinion, the more efficient approach is to go ahead and highlight the variables that you want to work with, beginning with the target variable, in this case, tourism receipts, and the other, market capitalization. Sorry about that, TR and MCAP. All right, we've got to try that again. All right. Okay. Third time is the charm. All right, so right click and open as a group. And right here, we go to View, Co-Integration Test, Panel Co-Integration Test. All right, so right here, we have a couple of choices here, Pedroni, Cow, and Fisher. All right, so I'm going to settle on Pedroni to start with. And I'm bullish on in a individual intercepts and individual trend right there. And I'd like to select automatic selection for lag length. And if you choose to use uh, the one that you determined in um, a lag selection, then you can click right here and uh, put the uh, lag length here. But it's often more convenient to choose automatic selection. And that's all she wrote. OK. And here's our output right here. So the null hypothesis here is no core integration, meaning that the variables do not have a long-run relationship. Altogether, we have seven tests and 11 test statistics. This and this. All right. And notice that p-value is less than 5% in six of the 11 instances. One, two, three, four, and five, six. With mixed results, we can uh, choose, we can base our decision on the verdicts of the majority by rejecting the null hypothesis and concluding that there is sufficient evidence that the series are co-integrated, again, meaning that they have a long-run relationship. And because the variables are found to be co-integrated, we can proceed with panel vector error correction in order to examine both the short run and long run dynamics of the co-integrated series right there.